Madam Deputy Speaker, the uh, habit of um, in, inhumane policy soon trickles down to the servants of the state. A constituent of mine this morning, undergoing a miscarriage, was denied the company of her husband. I have sent the details to the Secretary of State. Tyranny is a habit, and the motions on the order paper this evening show that we haven't quite kicked the habit. The powers that touch our personal choices and came at such a huge cost remain. And we were told that they were there purely for temporary purposes to deal with the emergency. Well, by any measure, the emergency is over and the hugely successful vaccination campaign is the guarantee against its return. And yet, on the order paper tonight, the government seeks to retain those powers to control aspects of our life, together with the punishment regime for those who disobey. Now, those of us, uh, those of us who can spot the trajectory will have seen yesterday that after months of denial, now indeed it will be the case that you will have to provide your vaccination bona fides when you go to the pub. And those people who are teetotal imagine that they might be spared that intrusion and inconvenience can dream on because undoubtedly this will be extended to restaurants, theatres, sporting venues and so proceeding to total social control. Did it ever occur to ministers that they might actually incentivise vaccination? Carrot, not stick. Undoubtedly, it didn't because they can't kick the habit. They are wedded to the stick. So let there be no wringing of hands by members of parliament who vote for oppressive legislation and then wail with indignation when the police actually enforce it. So when families are fined thousands of pounds for staying over together at Easter, we will know that it was because this house willed it so. So those people, those honourable members, wishing for these measures to pass tonight should reflect clearly on exactly what it is they wish for. Yeah. Yeah.